the Chloe Woody tote versus the Marc Jacob the tote bag, which would you choose? Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for love of. Today I want to talk about the Chloe Woody tote versus the Marc Jacob tote bag. Which would you choose? So I'm going to bring you over to the store today and have a look at some of these classic tote bags that's been really on trend lately. The first one I'm going to look at is the Chloe Woody tote. And I'm going to look at both the leather version and the canvas version, compare between these two brands because these tote bags have been just all the rage over the last few years and as always before i start if you like the content on this channel please consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel it'll really help a lot thank you so much for considering and on with the video so here i have the chloe woody tote bag which i think most people are more familiar with the canvas version but the leather version i think is a little bit more minimalistic not as logo heavy if you're worried about having the large chloe logo on the strap and looking at maybe a little bit too brand heavy for you so you can see here this is a medium size that's two thousand six hundred fifty five dollars for the leather version but i think it just looks very professional you can go to work with it you can go on a day with your girls and just have a ball and just like grab a tea a coffee and just hang out seems like a very versatile tote on the same time if you're not into that particular color there is also like this all black color that i think is absolutely gorgeous as well this is the large woody tote bag in leather it's 2785 dollars unfortunately for the leather tote for woody tote from chloe they only have limited sizing so there's the large one and the medium i showed you and there's also this little one here this is the mini woody tote bag and it has the option for a detachable strap that you can use it as a crossbody beyond just a top handle so i love how versatile that is this one is priced at two thousand and thirty dollars so those are the three sizes for the leather woody tote if you are looking for a leather version of it i do love how the stitching for the chloe branding logo um actually is more subtle on the leather version as opposed to the canvas as you can see here now for us a quick size comparison here is the large versus the mini size for the chloe woody toe in the leather version i just think it looks so cheek and so sleek and professional i can see myself using it from day to day but just wasn't sure if there are just too many black bags in my collection here is the smaller version for comparison if you're curious unfortunately i don't think they have the small version in the leather uh, woody tote bag at this time so i'll hop over and do a comparison of the canvas version later but for this comparison for the chloe woody toe versus mark jacob i want to show you leather to leather comparison and then go and look at the canvas versus canvas comparison so hopefully it'll help you decide which brand tote bag is for you because i do find that tote bags are very versatile and it's such a staple for handbag lovers collection so i'll head over and compare this canvas version of the woody tote bag momentarily now before i go into that i think it's important to take into account about pricing for some of these luxury bags because they are fairly different between the chloe and the mark jacob brand so here in the chloe website there are many variations of like the leather bag and also the canvas version so the smaller version here the mini you can see here is priced at one thousand four hundred and ninety dollars american i think it just looks really darn cute as a crossbody bag but for functionality wise i think something that is a little bit larger like the medium version here of the leather version over $1,950 is something way more functional now let's hop over and look at the tote bag from Marc Jacob so here is the leather version you can see that like the aesthetically like the silhouette is a pretty similar but like there are a lot of very clear details that are different between the two bags so to start off you can see that there is a zipper for this tote bag so it's a little bit more secure there are some pockets on the side so you can slip your belongings and then there's also an interior zip pocket which i don't think they have for the chloe tote bag for the woody tote there's a d-ring on the side so you can add on your straps and you can see 
unlike the Chloe that like both sides are the same, like this one here, there is a clear front and back side for the tote bag. And then there is a clear price difference. This one's $595 for this leather version as opposed to the previous one. If you look at like the medium size is close to $2,000. But I can understand like some people may not like the big, the tote bag label writing on it whereas like the Marc Jacobs is a little bit smaller in writing there are no feet on the bag which is pretty typical for a tote bag um and I don't really expect it uh but aesthetically I I am really torn between these two because I do love how this tote bag has a little bit added security with the zipper and also the little zipper pocket on the inside and then if you look at the website itself you can look at the price difference that you will see. So here in the micro tote bag for the leather version, you're gonna find that it's roughly around $525 or so for the micro version. I suppose if you look for the medium tote, that's leather, it's around $595 Canadian. So a very big difference between Chloe and Marc Jacob. And I also feel like aesthetic wise, style wise, it, the two brands does give off a different kind of vibe as well. I feel like Chloe is a little bit more feminine based, whereas the tote bag from Marc Jacob has a little bit more of an edge, more like a street style, I would say, compared to the Chloe. So next, I want to show you the Chloe tote in the canvas version. This one has like a linen, a blue denim almost like with the leather straps which you can see the logo stitch on and it has an option for a top handle and also a strap that is detachable and make it a crossbody or a shoulder bag. This, I think it does look aesthetically a little bit more professional and more, a little bit more clean. So there's a large size and the small size in comparison. So you can see between the woody tote in like the linen and canvas version. This one is priced at $1,835. So what do you think so far? Um, do you like the canvas version or do you like the leather version that I just showed you earlier? Now looking at the website, I'm just gonna show you a quick reference for a price difference. So you're gonna find the Nano Woody Toe in canvas. And then there's also the mini that's $850. There's also the small that's $1,150. And of course, there is the medium for $1,250. And last but not least, the large for $1,450 with the linen canvas for the woody tote. I think that the woody tote looks a little bit more timeless, more classic. I think it will withstand the test of time a little bit better because of its style. And with the neutral colors for the canvas, it'll probably be easier to match with your wardrobe. Um, but with that said, I am a little bit torn as well because of the price difference between the Chloe Woody Tote versus the Marc Jacob, the tote bag. Functionally speaking, they are both tote bags and they have a, like one large compartment on the inside, but stylistically i think they're very different and they when you wear it out it really conveys like a different vibe for your entire style chloe's more sophisticated pretty iconic woody toe more feminine um i think that is not as practical maybe compared to the mark jacob bag because it doesn't have the zipper closure but it does look a little more professional in my opinion. I can see why it's one of the best-selling minimalistic totes out there that can hold everything and it's great for like every day. I love the sturdy top handle. Um, look at this one here. It's like a little bit more decorated, maybe a little bit too much of all the ribbons on top. This one's $2,435. I think artistically, I can understand it, appreciate it, but probably not practical for me for day to day. At least from a mommy's point of view, all those straps, I just can see it getting soiled so easily. But I love the canvas version with like this dark leather uh, black trim on it as well. 
the straps are actually quite wide as well so it makes it quite comfortable to wear i think that this toe looks really cute as a crossbody if it was like the smaller version as opposed to the larger version okay so now let's head over to the store to check out the mark jacob the tote bag so here's the tote bag in the canvas version. You can see right away the canvas is a little bit different. Like it has, does have the zipper closure on the top, which I can see if you don't intend on closing it, it's kind of a nuisance to have a zipper because you just brush your skin against it and you can like scrape your hand or like maybe your laptop if you are constantly taking it out in and out. So I don't think it's as practical if you don't plan on zipping your tote bag up. But I do find that the canvas version as you're feeling it, it's just not as soft and delicate and like as beautiful or as compared to the Chloe um, linen canvas. I find that the one that they have here for the tote bag just doesn't feel as refined. Um, again, like the leather version, there's a clear front side and a back, back side and I feel like the tote bag writing on it is just even more pronounced in this canvas version compared to the leather version just because of the stark contrast in the color between the font and the bag itself but given the price point i think if you like this type of bag this is a great option to consider there are many different like styles and colors there's like some plushy material as well um, i think the original tote bag the tote bag is pretty popular because of like the canvas style that came out originally and then it wasn't until later that they came out with the leather version but honestly in my opinion I do love the leather version and the tote bag from Marc Jacob a little bit more for the leather version uh, whereas uh, for the canvas or linen version I really like the Chloe woody tote bag a little bit more of the neutral tones and that's just my opinion i if price was not an issue i think um that would be what i would probably lean towards after all when you get a bag it's really important that the bag sings to you it makes you happy on the inside um i struggle a lot when like we talk about the pricing of it um i, I mean like i try to limit the number of bags in my collection and i want to make sure that at the end of the day like five years from now i'll still love that bag so i think that price i do take it into consideration but at the same time i think i want to make sure that the bag sings to me and i like it um, a lot of times i do these comparisons so that people can see that there are um, similar silhouettes for bags that has like some that have more affo affordable pricing that might be available and at the same time I also want to show you like in person how these bags look and compare because it's so hard to tell if you're looking at a website between like a Chloe Woody tote versus a Marc Jacob the tote bag like how the differences are so um, I hope this video is helpful for you in deciding between the two bags I would love to hear from you in the comments below if there is a prefer tote bag that you would recommend or out of these two if price was not an issue which one would you lean towards would you lean towards the Marc Jacob the tote bag or would you lean towards the Chloe woody tote um, here I just want to show you on the website if you look at specifically the canvas version the mini size of the bag is around $390 or so um, maybe even 235 and then the medium size of the canvas tote is around 260 so here 235 for the mini 260 for the medium and 300 dollars for the large so there is a stark price difference between the woody chloe tote bag and also the mark jacob tote bag uh, but i think at the end of the day choose what sings to you and makes you happy Please feel free to comment below if you've experienced first-hand experience with some of these bags and let us other bag lo lovers out there know like what would you recommend um how you came to the decision to choose the bag the tote bag for you well that's it for today thank you so much for joining me on this video and i'll see you next time take care and stay safe everyone bye for now